Hello and welcome back to this Red Gaming Tech video with me, the Master Assassin Spoonie Kipper, as I screw stuff up amazingly while I'm trying to be like some kind of stealthy guy. Really that much of a bush and you can hide? Okay, there's guards there and him there. I'm a ninja. Super ninja skills Gotta get me killed Oh, get off the friggin' tent, you pleb Steal! So how do I escape? Unless I can like climb up with this. No. I think walking out the front door is not an option. Doesn't seem to be anything around to get me on the roof. But walking out the front door is going to get me seen. Oh, 
Oh, I could get out where one of the cannons are. That's pretty much ocean and possibly death as well. Maybe. Oh, no. Go ninja skills. Yeah, kill guards. Go see me. There was a kick to my was on the floor. Just getting some kind of award for that. What news? Radicus left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Oh no, I did do it. Okay. So I gotta wander all the way back. I mean, like last time I had a horse. Find one next to that house over there. God damn snow. So glad like my guy can't freeze to death or something. I'm here, bunny. Gonna get ya. Um. At least I stick to the roads, it's a bit easier. Yes, you can clap. Run, 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 run. You need like a summon horse thing. Maybe we'll be able to rob one in this town, city. Cat! Ha ha! Meow! So I didn't sprinkle catnip or something on the floor out of my sleeve. I like the pig.
still not sure why we have like pick food up our sleeve. That guy's a bit weird. The cold, cold brown. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. Yeah, some of them are a bit pissed. Alright, one of them's very pissed. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Mm, you'll get over it. and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? Oh, please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Return to finish out his service under Braddock. Yeah, he's betrayed you. to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. Yes, ma'am. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just... Savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we push so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts, and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance. The French will leave. Or they will die! Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. I must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Of us. The woods too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We 
should follow the river instead. The troop would be exposed there. We must maintain the edge of the castle. We're near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. And then what? Swiftness would serve us better. Ah, God. Damn it. <laughs> ah, I killed one. That's good enough. out amongst those I command. No sympathy for the enemy. I've no time for insubordination. He paid for his treachery. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Ah, brother, so he was a fellow assassin. Ah, to close the distance. supposed to do something during that whole slowdown. <laughs>
I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! Stop the guy already. Run, run, run back! Why, <laughs> Your death opens a door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe just a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? Were those innocents slaughtered? And for what? does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. I expect that you will honor yours. Honor me. No. No. No, no, what? You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us, her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us, and her love still gives us strength. You've shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. Thank you. I... I should go. Yeah, Connor's gonna be that kid.
few days later. Back at the pub. Tavern. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. I can wait some more. It's going to get smashed because she's got the wrong place. Gentlemen. Or not. Please, sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Wait, what? <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Templar? What the hell? So she has a kid with that. That one becomes an assassin. Who? You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Dad, chill the hell out. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <laughs> bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. Punch him. Running out of time. Right. That was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so 
I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Take a look around! Oh, no, so chat to people. No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the president? And what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean? I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. But they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all... Oh, it's moved too far, but kind of got distracted by... Damn it. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Repeated conversation. Yeah, I've got to stop this video here, and I shall be back in a moment with the continuing well, after this conversation with the NPC with Assassin's Creed video. I'll be back in a moment.